today we are going to learn how to confirm death. This is the critical part of our job as healthy care providers. We must approach it with the care and respect. To confirm unexpected death, you will need the following items. A statistical, a pen light, a watch with a second hand and relevant documentation. Let's go through the process step by step. First step, ensure the environment is safe for you. Then confirm patient's ID to make sure you have the correct patient by confirming patient name and date of birth. The second step, approach the patient calmly and call their name loudly. You can also gently shake their shoulder, saying, Nergiza, can you hear me please? If there is no any response, we need to move forward. Third step, check for signs of life. To check for signs of life, focus on these three aspects, the breathing, pulse rate, and heart sound. Let's start by checking breathing. Look at the chest movement carefully to see if it smooths up and down, which shows the breathing. Listen by the mouth and mouth for at least one minute for any sound of the breathing. If there is no chest movement and no sound of the breathing, check the pulse. Place the two fingers the side of the neck where the carotid arm is located and feel for pulse. Take it at least one minute to check. If you, ca if you can't feel pulse, go to the next step by listening heart sound. Using a stethoscope, place it on the chest. Listen careful for any heartbeat. You should listen for at least one minute. If you can't hear anything else, continue with further intervention. The fourth step, check the pupils of eyes. A shine a light directly into the patient's eyes. If the pupils of eyes widen or dilate, means what? No contraction, dilate. <laughs> yes. And don't react to the light. This is another sign that the patient has passed. Fifth step, check for reflux. Check if the patient has any reflux. Gently pinch the skin. You can also rub the sternum. If there is no response to the pain, the body is no longer reactive. After checking all this step and finding no sign of life, we can confirm that the patient has passed away. Documentation is very important. So, right now, everything you find. It. We find a what now? Patient, no response, mm -hmm. no, no just movement, no breathing. Okay, no pupil dilation. The pupil is no, it's the pupil dilated, no contraction. Do you understand me? Also, there is no any breathing. Now we can confirm that the patient passed away. Do you understand me, guys? Yes, yes. 